Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we're looking at the IWI Masada. This gun's been around for about four years now. A lot of people love it. When I did my table review, I got so many positive comments. They say they love the IWI Masada. Comes with 17 round mags, a 4.1 inch barrel, front serrations, a pick rail. It is optic ready. Comes with four plates set to fit six different red dots. A fully ambidextrous gun with both mag release and slide stop on both sides. Three dot metal sights and a nice grip texture on there. Six pound trigger pull with a reset right there. So almost a full reset. But one of the things that I heard with some of the responses from my table review was that it shot low out of the box. So far I've taken one shot with this at about 13 yards and it, it fired pretty well dead nuts. So we're gonna check it out now. I'm about 10 yards away. So let's go ahead and take a few shots. I believe I have 10 rounds loaded up. MSRP on this is 480 and during normal times, right around four and a quarter is what people were picking up the Masada for. Nice, nice looking handgun, little heavier. 33 ounces loaded with a, a full mag uh, and one in the chamber, 18 rounds. Let's go ahead and take a few shots and see how it does. Those were low. Okay, so those were a little bit low. And that could be me. A couple in the center there. But... I'm going to go ahead and try that again because I want to see what the deal is. I don't think there's a problem. You know, it's a, it could be shooter. This is only my first time shooting it. And those were the shots that I've taken minus the one that I took earlier. All right, same distance. I, I put some fresh paint on there. Let's try that again. See if this shoots low or that was just me. I'm going to slow down this time. That was low. All right. Well, I can't say that it was low. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little, zoom in a little bit there. I don't know, would you say that's low shooting? I wouldn't. Let's see if the Masada will charge when forcing a mag in the mag well. And that time it did. Let's do a limp wrist test. Okay, failure to eject. We'll try that again. Failure to feed that time. <laughs> Failure to feed. And lost a round there. Let's keep going. Uh, what happened there? Okay, failure to eject. So the limpress test isn't working too well with the Masada. Let's try it again. Yeah, what do we got going on there? Failure to eject. Now, this could be a new gun. It could be. You know, it's, it's not broken in yet. I am the first one to shoot this. I borrowed this gun from a friend and he allowed me to review it. So it, it could be that many guns take a couple hundred rounds to get some mileage through it so that they perform better. And I, I actually don't consider that a break-in period. I call that just responsible gun owning, which I did not do because I don't own it. But this is the first time that it hit the range.
and I missed my last shot. Oh well, I guess that's fitting with the limp wrist test because the Masada did not pass. Reasons why? It's a mystery. Backed up a bit. Here we have the Masada. Yeah, not too bad. Well, there it is, guys. IWI Masada. Many people love it. Some people don't. Other people sold or traded it and said they regret it. But for a MSRP of 480, optic ready with four plates, six red dots, three interchangeable grip modules, and ambidextrous control, 17 round mags, I think it's a pretty good deal. And I certainly appreciate my buddy Bobby. Let me borrow this and review it. And those were the first shots. And I hope you liked it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.